Hi friend, my name is Jason Jones. If you grew up in the United States and went to a public school somewhere around, uh, somewhere in grade school, usually around uh, the, the third or the fourth grade, uh, sometimes a little later, a little bit before, you were introduced to a guy named uh, Aesop, or in America it was pronounced Aesop, but properly pronounced Aesop and his fables. Uh, a little bit of background about this uh, Aesop guy, because you never really, they they tell you about his fables and what fables are and the morals and stuff like that, but they never really tell you too much about this guy, and he's a pretty interesting character. We don't know exactly where in Greece he was born. There's a lot of different Greek cities that claim him, but we do know that he was born around 620 BC and that he was born into slavery and had worked for at least two different masters. Now, somehow along the way, he earned his freedom uh, through his own wit and his own talent. And being a free man back in the day in Greece, uh, around 620 BC or so, you uh, are, were able to participate in public life. And Aesop became quite a, uh, gained quite a reputation as a statesman. Uh, he eventually went to uh, Sardis, which was the uh, city capital city of the king of Lydia, and uh, from there he um, he very much impressed the king. And the king of Lydia said, "I want you to work for me, Aesop. I want you to stay here in my court," which he did. And he was employed by the king with very uh, difficult and delicate affairs of states, and was used primarily as a statesman and a diplomat to other courts. Now, he was famous for using these fables to make points and was able to smooth over some very delicate situations and win over a lot of hearts and minds uh, when he told his fables and the way that he used these. Now, uh, he actually ended up in the city of uh, Delphi where he was sent by uh, the king to distribute some money and the people of Delphi at the time, he found them to be a little too... Uh, greedy and so he ended up sending the money back to the king and didn't distribute any of it and uh, Delphi executed him for that which uh, in the long run that didn't work out very well at all for the Delphinians but uh, that's another story. Uh, one thing I wanted to impress on you is that Aesop's fables they're still taught today because they're still relevant today but we use them to kind of uh, talk to our kids but when we look at these they're really relevant for us too because these fables make very memorable stories that we can use uh, just to remind ourselves of the various principles that they reflect and just kind of remind them in our own lives and our own business. Uh, the one I want to share with you today uh, is about the, this one is just simply um, um, uh, a real short one. It's called The Donkey and His Purchaser. And a man wanted to buy a donkey, and so he agreed with the owner that he wanted to try out the animal before, you know, they, they made the final purchase. So he took the donkey home and put him in the straw yard with all the other donkeys, and so he sat back and he watched the animal. Now the new donkey left all the others at once and joined the ones that were kind of the most idle, the biggest eaters, and, and all that. And so the man looked at that, put the halter back on the donkey, and led him back to the owner and said, nope, don't need him. And the other guy was like, hey, hey, you were, all, you were all excited to buy a donkey here. What changed? And so he said, I've seen everything I need to see. I've seen the companions he hangs around with. I don't need this one. And so the moral of the story is a man is known and a woman is known by the company that they keep. And uh, birds of a feather flock together. And uh, that's one of the timeless principles that holds true. So uh, I'm going to have a few more of Aesop's fables, some of the lesser known ones uh, in the future. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope that helps you remember that uh, we're all known by the company we keep. I wish you health, wealth, and happiness, and we'll talk to you later.